So let's continue the American Pie Presents spin-off series with The Naked Mile. Big days, entertainment rankings and reviews. So greetings, my fellow YouTubers, and welcome to Big D's Entertainment Rankings and Reviews. My name's Duel, better known to you as the Big D, so I'm going to be bringing to you another review in the American Pie franchise. Well, the American Pie Presents franchise, which is part of the American Pie franchise. Well, you get the point. If you haven't seen my review for the first installment of this spin-off series, Bandcamp, or the fourth theatrical features, I advise you to click on the card to get into the playlist, catch what you might have missed, or see them again if you'd wish. <sighs> Alright, that about covers it. So now let's get into 2006's The Naked Mile, released by Universal for Rogue Pictures. Of course, this is the second American Pie Presents series film. Now this film so focuses on another member of the Stifler clan. This time it's Eric, played by John White. He's a high school senior given a weekend sex pass by his girlfriend who visits the Beta House fraternity led by his cousin, Toronto Mile Naked, who of course would show up in the next movie. The movie also features Christopher McDonald as Eric's father, and Eugene Levy returns as Noah Levenstein. So, let's get into this. Oh yeah, and the film was directed by Joe Nussbaum. So, here we go. Eric Stifler, cousin to Stephen Matt Stifler, fails to live up to the family name as he is about to graduate from high school as a virgin. As the film opens, Eric finds an illness so he can stay home and masturbate. His parents and grandma unexpectedly walk to the door and are hit with Eric's semen. Yes, while watching a sex video, causing his grandma to die of a heart attack. Eric's girlfriend of two years, Tracy, loves him, but he's not ready for SCX. Eric's friends, Coos and Ryan, plan a road trip to visit Eric's cousin, Dwight Stifler, at the University of Michigan for an event known as the Naked Mile. Tracy sees this as an opportunity to give Eric a sex pass, hoping that he can quench his lustful desires. As soon as Eric and his friends arrive on campus, they witness a drinking contest where Dwight is crowned champion. Later, they lose a rough game of football against a bitter rival fraternity composed almost entirely of midgets. Later, at a bar, Eric meets a college girl named Brandy who has a fetish for virgins, prompting Ryan and Coos to make a bet regarding whether or not Eric will sleep with her. The following morning, Dwight gets attacked by the midget fraternity while walking down the street, landing him in the hospital. However, he manages to make it to the Naked Mile, where he joins up with Eric, Ryan, and Coos, who are at first reluctant to run, but when Brandy, along with Jill and Alexis, strip down completely stark naked, they are finally prompted to strip down as well. Finally, as Eric and Brandy reach the finish line, they share a kiss, which is caught on camera for a TV news report. Watching the report about the Naked Mile at home, Tracy is upset and feels guilty that she allowed Eric the pass. Her friends convince her to also lose her virginity before he gets back. Well, I'm getting to the ending right now, final act. You know, procedure, five cents to self, go to the description box below, fast forward to the time below. If you've seen this movie, good, continue on. Here we go. Okay, you've been warned. Later that evening, Eric realizes that he loves Tracy, confesses to Brandy that he cannot sleep with her, and rushes back to see his girlfriend. While his buddies, Ryan and Coos, really hit off with Jill and Alexis. Okay, well, when he gets to her house, Tracy, her dad says she is at a party. Eric rides her horse and shows up at the party, pounces on the closed bedroom door, and proclaims his love for her. However, Tracy is not in the room because she had decided that she could not go through with her plans. The two reconcile, and they have, you guessed it, S-E-X. When Eric and... Re 
when Eric returns to the Bayer house to pick up his friends the next morning, each guy shares stories of his sexual experiences from the night before. The guys then ask Eric if he sealed the deal with Brandy that night, and Eric tells them no, prompting Ryan to pay up on the bed to Coos. Eric tells them about his adventure back home to make up with Tracy and finally loses virginity. The guys are proud of Eric is for officially get, living up to the Siffler family name, and the three friends go home. During the post Nick and Mob party, Dwight spots Vicky, the girlfriend of Rock, the leader of the midget fraternity, and the two of them head up to Dwight's room to have SEX. And later, as the film closes, Dwight sends a DVD to Rock that reads, Payback's a bitch. And you guessed it, it reveals both Dwight and Vicky having an SEX much to Rock's dismay. End of story. So, what did I think of American Pie Presents the Naked Mile? Well, let me put it to you this way. This was, well, fun in ways. It still kind of couldn't match up to my line of the original movies, though. Even though we still wouldn't get an American Reunion until 2012. But nevertheless, it did have some pretty hot chicks and what have you. Man, oh man. One look at some of those. And damn! You got yourself some fine ones. <laughs> oh, sorry. I, I my, my bad. I, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> but even so... Uh, it's still very good. Well, after the success of the last movie, Universal decided to do another one. And of course, it got uh, in, but its reviews were a little mixed to negative and what have you. Now, I really do think some of the cast isn't too bad. Now, I liked John White playing Eric and Steve Talley as Dwight. They were both good. I gotta say, Dwight was absolutely crazy, but <laughs> he sure was pretty darn funny. Uh, Jesse Schramm, who plays Tracy, not bad. Ross Thomas plays Ryan. Jake Siegel playing Coos, not, they're not too bad either. Christopher McDonald plays Harry Stifler. But I gotta give credit to seeing Eugene Levy once again as Noah Levenstein, who, well, apparently is the bit of the announcer for the Naked Mile. Man, oh man. We just had a whole lot of fun with this. You might have a little bit of a fun time too if you if you try and watch this. I mean, and Jeff Cardone does some music, which isn't bad either. But still, it's a mixed bag, though. So, with all that said, would I recommend American Pie Presents Naked Mile? Well, I'd say give it a one-time watch. If you're a completionist. And if you're not satisfied, then don't bar away again. But i still say give it a one-time watch. And, well, you know the rest. So, what are your thoughts on American Pie Presents the Naked Mile? You can tell me in the comments section below. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and be a part of the Big D Nation. Join me next time when I bring to you, excuse me, a review of the third American Pie Presents movie and a direct follow-up to this, that being Beta House. So thanks for watching, and if you like this, you may want to check out some of these other movies I've recently reviewed. In the upper left-hand corner is the review I did on Howard the Duck. The upper right-hand corner is my review of Revenge of the Nerds 3, The Next Generation, which, while it may be one of my least favorites of the franchise, but still has some pretty fun moments. Or go to the bottom left-hand corner and see... My review of Hot Shots. And the bomb, right in corner of the button, you can click to subscribe. If you like rankings and reviews on movies, TV, music, video games, etc., then I'm your guy. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm the Big D saying, see ya.